Okay, today we're going to talk about the post-observation form in domain four. It is the last piece that needs to be done. We have done the pre-observation. We had looked, have looked at our observation, and now we're going to look at the post-observation form. So again, I can see my actions that are required. The principal has sent me the post-observation form and is awaiting a schedule acceptance. I'm going to accept the schedule. And I can see, okay, um, please complete this. We did the observation. We did the pre-conference on Friday. The principal came to see me on Tuesday. And now I'm going to complete this by Thursday. We're going to talk about the lesson. I'm going to have this form done by then. And I'm going to accept. And now I can open up the post-observation form. This is done exactly like the pre-conference form, so it's fairly easy has some questions for you to answer. How successful do you believe the lesson was? You can go through here and write all of your answers. Scrolling down through here, again, reflecting on the lesson. This should not take teachers a long time to do. You want to ref reflect accurately, and yet you don't have to include um, paragraph after paragraph. You can use bullet points. You can use... Um, some paragraphs and just really talk about how well do you think you did sometimes you can take care of that in three to four sentences um, it might take you a little bit longer it depends on what you want to say and then how do you maintain accurate records two questions there 4c 4d and 4e and 4f and then we also added additional questions or comments is there anything that you would like to talk about in the post-conference? If you want, again, you can add an artifact. You do it in the same way that you did before. Enter the name of the artifact, select the file, click Save. The artifact will be uploaded. You can save and notify the principal or evaluator. You can save and come back to this form. And whenever you're done, you're going to click Submit. This will notify the principal that you are completed with this form and that, again, whenever you sit down and you talk with the principal or evaluator, you can add more information to this form. This form, again, is to be a conversation starter for you and the principal to discuss your lesson after the evaluation.